Hi, I'm Clay Shears. In this video, I show you how to start using the Intel Dev Cloud. Now, the Intel Dev Cloud is a data center grade cluster that allows you to develop and test your projects with the Intel One API based toolkit. The toolkit offers you full native code support across a range of Intel hardware and unifies programming tools and libraries across multiple hardware offerings like CPU, GPU, and FPGA. The Intel Dev Cloud makes it possible for you to get started quickly by offering ways for you to test programming tools before applying them to your own code. The Intel Dev Cloud is a cluster composed of CPUs, GPUs, and FPGAs, and has several toolkits pre-installed. The Intel Dev Cloud will be kept up to date with the latest hardware and software from Intel, and this allows you to evaluate them soon after release. Now, to request access, go to the Intel Dev Cloud signup page and fill in your information and submit. Once your request is approved, you will receive an email with the necessary information to configure a connection to the Intel Dev Cloud and to sign in. After your configuration is complete, you can access the Intel Dev Cloud by using this simple command. It will take you to a login node where you could submit your compute jobs. Intel has provided a few sample codes to help you get started with the Intel One API based toolkit, and they are available in the links. Now let's go through one of these code samples, the vector add. This will give you an idea of how to submit jobs for building and running the sample using the portable batch system. The job is a script that is submitted to PBS through the QSub utility. By default, the QSub utility does not inherit the current environment variables. For this reason, it is necessary to submit jobs as scripts that handle the setup of the environment variables. Now, to create a job script, follow these steps. First, use these commands to create a script to build the vector add sample. Then, using these commands, create a script for executing the sample. Use this command to build the sample. In batch mode, the command returns immediately and prints the job ID. The job itself may take longer to complete, so you can use this command to inspect the job progress. Now, use this command to run the sample in batch mode. When a job terminates, a couple of files are written to the disk, the job's standard error and standard output. And finally, use this command to inspect the output of the sample execution. Now, you're ready to take advantage of the Intel One API based toolkit in your own code. To learn more, Follow the links to sign up for our training and join the Intel DevCloud community. And thanks for watching.